computer giant Microsoft has furthered its plans to store data in DNA, striking a deal with a U.S. biosciences company to produce millions of synthetic strands. The Washington-based firm confirmed its plans to tap into the biological code as a means of secure data storage, demonstrating serious interest for the method from industry. Microsoft will work with San Francisco-based Twist Bioscience, buying 10 million short strands of DNA, called oligonucleotides, for the project. With huge amounts of data being produced and captured every day, the volume and rate of production is fast outstripping methods of storage. The bulk of data is stored on media with finite shelf life, with servers and hard drives needing to be replaced periodically. This means data has to be transferred, which increases the risk of corruption and data loss. In the hunt for solutions, Microsoft has partnered with researchers at the University of Washington to focus on using DNA as a storage medium. Long-buried human ancestors demonstrate DNA is stable and can survive intact for thousands of years, offering tantalizing insight into its potential for long-term data storage. As our digital data continues to expand exponentially, we need new methods for long-term, secure data storage, explained Doug Carmian, a partner architect within Microsoft's technology and research organization. Researchers will transfer the ones and zeros of binary code into the four bases of DNA, A, C, T and G, transferring the data from the digital to the biological. Microsoft and University of Washington researchers will work to translate a volume of binary code to a corresponding DNA, with Twist Bioscience then making strands of synthetic DNA according to the sequences. They give us the DNA sequence, we make the DNA from scratch, Dr. Emily Lepoust, CEO of Twist Bioscience, told IEEE Spectrum. According to Microsoft, early tests have proved successful, with the DNA storing data and being read without error. While it is unclear exactly what data Microsoft plans to convert to DNA, Twist will not be in the loop. According to IEEE, the firm will not divulge its decoder key, so Twist will not know what it is encoding. The initial test phase with Twist demonstrated that we could encode and recover 100% of the digital data from synthetic DNA, said Carmian. We're still years away from a commercially viable product, but our early tests with Twist demonstrate that in the future we'll be able to substantially increase the density and durability of data storage. Dr. Lepoust added, DNA is a promising storage media, as it has a known shelf life of several thousand years, offers a permanent storage format and can be read for continuously decreasing costs. She added, We are thrilled to work with Microsoft and University of Washington researchers to address the growing challenge of digital data storage. The potential for DNA to store data is huge, offering benefits not only in stability but in space. As DNA is so densely packed inside cells it would mean that just a single cubic millimeter could store in the region of one exabyte, or one billion gigabytes, worth of data. Earlier this month, Microsoft and UW revealed the results of their initial attempts, successfully encoding and retrieving digital data from images and videos. Data was chopped into pieces and stored by synthesizing a massive number of tiny DNA molecules, which can be dehydrated and preserved for a long time. In order to retrieve the stored data, the team encoded the equivalent of zip codes and street addresses into the DNA sequences, which allows them to easily find what they need. And using DNA sequencing techniques, researchers can read the data and transform it back into its original form using the street addresses to reorder the data.